And we're back with our fourth episode of American Hedgehog Warrior. I'll tell you, I never intended to do two of these courses, Bob, let alone a fourth, but we're still quarantined. My business has been closed for five weeks now, and of all the things I lost, I miss my mind the most. So we'll just keep trucking and see if Pepper can slay this beast too. Some new additions and some familiar favorites, but as always, the goal for Pepper is to get safely down to the ground where she loves to run around like she owns the place. And is that a mini ball pit now, Bob? What will our producers come up with next? Now, as you can see, the champ has her poker face on, and she's raring to go. We gave her a few minutes, as always, to sniff around the course ahead of time, since Hedgehogs can't see too well. And she's off from the starting snack table, down the armrest, and moving along the sofa as she has to deal with these staggered tubes first. And back to her old ways, falling for that invisible tunnel, but a rapid recovery by backing it up and sniffing out that opening in the Pringles can. And as we take a quick look at the close-up on the Knockerball, New Jersey chip cam, you can actually hear Pepper's quills sliding through. And Poonoo Mountain has typically been later in the course, but we wanted to keep her on her toes, so we switched it up. And call me crazy, Bob, but it looks like she's trying to burrow under. And we know that won't work because she's on a sofa, so we'll see what her next move is. And while she's exploring, I know I speak for Pepper and Bob when I say thank you to everyone who's commenting, sharing, and enjoying all these silly videos. It is honestly amazing to see a little hog like Pepper inspire and entertain so many people during these crazy times. But back to the action, would you look at this? It appears there was a method to her madness as she managed to move the mountain enough to open a shortcut that she can squeeze that prickly little ass of hers through without climbing to the top. Take notes here, folks, because she's dusting off a playbook we haven't seen since the 90s when David Hasselhog used to dominate the warrior circuit. And as she continues along, she chooses to descend down the delicate derriere of the dachshund. Alliteration aside, this hog is fearless, Bob. And she's also at the halfway point as she scurries over Pillow Ottoman Bridge into the newly named Dead End Drive. A couple of her hedgehog homies are there heckling and hindering her path, but it looks like Pepper pays them no mind as it's over the cups again and easily on her way up the slippery slope into the home stretch. Or maybe not so easily. Even with the grip strips, Pepper is having a little trouble maintaining her footing on that steep incline that she usually loves to slide down. It looks like she may have a better footing now as she approaches the top. She'll have to pull herself up. Oh, she was right there. And look at this. The feet gave out and down she goes. But where there's a will, there's a way, folks. And this is one hog who just never gives up. As you can see, that slip clearly motivated her to get to the top. And just like that, she is hopping the noodles in Leapin Log Lagoon in record time as she's now just a stone's throw away from the finish. And notice how smoothly she makes her way under and over each noodle, like a slithering little snake as she approaches the final obstacle, folks, the super duper slide into the new mini ball pit to complete the course. We added some bumpers to help guide her more towards the center of the pit, so let's see if she'll take the plunge. And yes, there she goes, ladies and gentlemen, no fear. She eyed it up, took her foot off the brakes, and slid into victory with a splash this time. What an inspiring performance by this adorable little hedgehog. And there she is, popping her little head out of the balls, ready to jump out and run around the apartment like a lunatic. Great job, Pepper, and we'll see you next time, folks.